Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Parents Mina and Alan Tessalona of Epa Power States in Dedido, both 35 and married for eight years, are grateful for their New Year's miracle, especially because getting to this point has seen its share of struggle. Before this pregnancy, we actually went through a difficult time with the previous pregnancy, um, and we ended up miscarrying. And so um, it was really tough on us, and we weren't sure if, if we were going to have another child. And while the health of their newborn was obviously their first concern, Mila and Alan never thought their new daughter would arrive on January the 1st, much less be baby 2017. So I actually thought strange. we were going to give birth like on the 30th. <laughs> and then <laughs> apparently she, rest. right? And then from there on, we said it was up to her. She's been awesome. I mean, like I said, the the labor part and even through the delivery, she's just very sweet. Further still, Mina's due date was actually a week after New Year's Day. So when Kylie did arrive, weighing seven pounds, four ounces, and being 19 inches tall, being mom and dad to the first child born on United States soil this year didn't even enter their minds. That is, until the GMH nursing staff rushed into their room in mass, smiling ear to ear with the tremendous news. Honestly, when the door opened and a flood of everybody just walked through, I'm sorry, I was just like, oh my gosh. Everybody was like, happy new year. And all of a sudden it was like, you know, nine seconds after she was out and I was like, oh my God. The couple's been sending messages and pictures to their families near and far who are hurrying to the island to meet their new relative. Kylie also has a brother and a sister who can't wait to meet and hold their new sibling. I have family in Georgia and that's where I have family, so I don't know. Uh, Philippines, California. So yeah, just. Hello. Oh, because our in-laws are in the Philippines right now, and they're coming in today. Yeah, they're flying today, so it's a big surprise. Happy New Year. Oh, well, you guys want to send them a shout out? And as is a holiday tradition here on the island, the friendly folks at Archway and I Love Guam organized a huge donation of more than six thousand dollars worth of gifts, including gift certificates, diapers, formula, gift baskets and funds to secure little Kylie's future. Is that your certificate from the Bank of Guam for your $500 and to open up a savings account for the baby to get started? Um, your certificate from I Love Guam uh, for $500 as well to add to your savings account. So you know, keep that in there by the time the baby reaches adulthood, it has a really good start in life. So while Mina and Alan are humbled and appreciative of the rewards from the business community, as well as the support they've gotten on social media, the proud parents aren't focused on being showered with gifts. They hold in their arms their very own New Year's treasure, looking back at them and probably unaware at how significant that she is to Guam history, but being special beyond measure to this wonderful couple from up north and to our island family. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.